I'm gonna try it. Oh crap. I missed. Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Adventures. Ark um ascended on the island. On the crazy folks server. And this episode, you know what I want to do? Um people on the on the XP crafted uh, patron server have been talking about uh taming uh, uh quetzals. I thought, you know what, we should tame one. Um because they can carry bigger things, I can do platforms on them and stuff like that. And what I'm thinking about doing is not necessarily going for one of the biggest quetzals. I think maybe I should go for a low, medium level one. I can probably find those a lot easier anyway. And um, build a platform on top of that and put like a, uh, a, a you know, a, a turret and use a chain bullet to get a high level one if I find one. That'd be so much easier, right? I can, I can hopefully land it somewhere where I can tame it pretty quickly, but... Uh, a couple things I want to do here. I'm going to try and do a different method. I've tamed, solo tamed Quetzals in the past. Um, I've used uh, the Scorpion method back in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, you can, if you search on this channel, you'll find a video, at least one, where I did that. Um, I don't think I want to do that method. I've been reading up on the wiki about all sorts of different methods that, are, that exist, and I want to try to see if I can do the Grapple Quetz uh, tactic. And I don't know if I'm going to be successful at that. So I need some grappling hooks. Do I have any more grappling hooks? Do I have any grappling hooks? Oh, those are not grappling hooks. I do not have grappling hooks. Okay. So I'm going to take that for taming. I think that's my preferred... Well, this is actually kind of my preferred taming uh, bow. Because I think it does more than the 304% here. Believe it or not. Um, but I want to do that. I also want to take another crossbow with grappling hooks. I know I can switch them. In fact, maybe I should just switch them. Maybe I shouldn't make another crossbow. Alright, let me make some grappling hooks. And those, I believe, are made here. And what I need for that, I think, is cementing paste and stone arrows. I got plenty of stone arrows. Uh, there they are. And uh, cementing, cementing paste. Go ahead and throw that in there. I think that will do... I don't know how many of these I'm going to want. Um, I can only make one. Okay. Because I'm missing middle ingots. All right. Well, I've got plenty of those, too. All right. Maybe I should check the other ingredients to make sure I don't run out real quick of anything else. I shouldn't. I don't think I need 33. But we will make a bunch. Um, that's going to give me, what, 10 or 9? I can't remember how many times I hit it. 10. Okay, 10. Um, how much did I weigh? 10. I don't care about the weight. Let's go with 15. Just in case, you know? Just in case. Let's throw those in here. All right. Um, let's get rid of this and get some food, too, because I'm going to probably need it, because I'm probably going to fall. Speaking of falling, I'm going to make some parachutes, which I don't do a lot of. I'm not a big parachute guy. Um, I know a lot of people are, but I am not. Uh, I know we need fiber for that. What else do we need for parachutes? Parachutes, fiber, thatch, and hide. I don't know why we need thatch, but hey, whatever. Do we think fiber and hide would be enough? Huh, whatever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's the weight on those? Oh, a lot. Okay, that's fine. Again, not too worried about weight. I have plenty of weight. My bird has plenty of weight. Not going to be a problem. Okay. Okay. That's 10 of them, and I'll throw those on 7. Hopefully remembering that that's the key I have when I fall, because I inevitably will fall. Uh, the first thing I want to do is grab with this is grapple, so let's change to grappling hooks. I use the hold down reload button to do that. You know, that new thing they added in Survival Ascended. Hey, there's Kevin. Kevin, you're the one who's going to take me to this guy, so I need to take my taming stuff with me, which means I need to double check what a... Quetz team is, um, since I'm going for a mid-low level, I'm not going to bother with kibbles. I think I, instead I'm going to take, I don't think I have any raw mutton. Take some raw prime with me. I don't think I have any mutton. And I'm not sure how fast our torpor falls. So we will take, we will take some of that as well. Okay. Now, are we ready to go? I think we are ready to go. We need to go find a quetz. That's going to be the hard part. You know, as I'm flying around, it just occurred to me there's something... I was trying to think through what I'm going to do here. And I don't know if something will work. 
Can you switch to Trank arrows while grappled, or does it disconnect the grapple? Let us find out. This is a fairly safe area. Um, we might have turkeys, though, because we have turkey trials going. I don't see any turkeys. I don't see any jive turkeys. I'm sorry. I don't see any turkeys. Um, let's find out. Pull myself in. Okay. Can I... Can I switch the trank arrows? I stay connected. Oh, cool. It does work. How can I just... Oh, I can disconnect by just hitting my crouch key. All right. Cool. All right. That works. Actually, I want to switch back. I need my train. I need my... Uh, what was that? Oh, it's what's selected. Okay. Wait a minute. What was that weird... Hang on. Let me see this again. Oh, you can craft trank arrows. Because I have arrows and... Oh, I left my arrows in my inventory? No. Weird. Why is it saying I can craft them? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. All right. Let's continue looking. I have found my first victim. He's a level 90. I mean, why not? Or she is a level 90. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is set this guy to follow me. But I should probably do that before I get a, uh, jump off. So we're going to find a relatively safe place, like right down here, I think. <clears throat> and we're going to whistle follow, which I just did. And can I make sure that I had a... It looked like I was putting a grappling hook in. I don't want that. Let's make sure the grappling hook is ready to go. It is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's come back up here. Hello, Quetzal. All right, I've not done this method. It's going to be tricky. You have to bail and then shoot the Quetz. So I'm going to wait till he turns. Oh, he's descending. That's that's interesting. Oh, man. I'm going to try it. Oh, crap. I missed. Oh, my parachute. Oh, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> Dang it. Where's my bird? There he is. Okay, stop following me. All right. Start following me. All right, I, I screwed that one up. Missed my shot because he started to move. I thought he'd come quietly, and then I forgot my parachute. Okay. Oh, well, I'm almost dead. I can't repeat that mistake. Well, let me heal up a little bit here. Um, I should have brought healing potions. Oh, well, healing bruise. Let me heal up a bit before I shoot this guy again. Oh, she's climbing again. I'm going to eject to the right side by default, right? There we go. There's a turn. I'm going to try it. Uh, I hope that's... No, not yet. Descending. She's descending a little bit. All right. I hope I have this out. Yes. All right. Switch to the trank arrows. And I'm going to whistle passive right now on the RG. Oh, no. That broke it. I didn't think that would break it, but it broke it. Okay. Parachute deployed. I got my pike just in case I need to fight for my life down here. I'm going to go neutral on the bird. Okay, this method kind of sucks now that I think about it. I thought you could just sit there. I really did. Come on down. Where are you? There you are. This method sucks. Hmm. I thought it would just hold on to the bird, but it doesn't. It drops it immediately. As soon as it, it goes crazy, it drops the hook. Okay. Now, there's another method that you can use by grappling your RG and then ordering your RG to go, you know, basically, you have to do attack target, and then as it gets close, you have to tell it to break off from that by telling it a new place to go. That's one another method. Another method is the old-fashioned scorpion method. Maybe I should try that. I don't think I'm coordinated enough to do the grapple stuff, uh, as you can tell from my uh, current health situation. Um... Yeah, let's um, let's try to remember where this guy was over here, or she, and to the left of the volcano here, west of the volcano, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. We need to find a scorpion. Um, I know there's scorpions all over the place. 
but I know for sure they're on the uh, Karno Island. So we're, let's go over there and find a uh, decent scorpion, but we don't want one that's too strong. Maybe I don't know. What's the health on on this one? Let's look real quick. Come back and look at the health on this guy. I, I know it's come up on the screen. You guys have seen it, but I just don't remember it. Uh, there it is. Ninety-three. Okay, three thousand health basically. Um, no torpor. So the torpor all wore off. Okay. All right. I thought I tamed a scorpion already. I sure did. Level fifty-two female, probably for its eggs, and then a level two hundred two male. So I think we'll just go back to our base and get one of those. I don't know which one we want to get though. A high level we might do too much damage. We'll find out. Now I know traditionally you whistle attack my target and I need to make sure I remember what key that is. Uh, whistle attack my target. Equal sign. Equal sign. All right. Um, easy enough. Uh, but I'm wondering, does aggressive work? Wouldn't aggressive work too? If they're near something, wouldn't they attack it? I know you don't want that normally. Like when you set down, you're going to have to change its, its uh, aggression, which I can do easily enough. Um, what is the hotkey for aggressive? Let's go figure that out too. What is the hotkey for aggressive? Uh, neutral... Whistle all aggressive subtract. Okay. I don't use that one that often. Okay. Oh, I don't want to whistle it here. <laughs> Let's get in the air. Get over there. Oh, of course I missed. And uh, and see if that quetz is still around. All right. Someday I'll be able to get this. I'm going to blame lag, but it's not lag. It's probably me. There we go. Yeah, as I was remembering what the keys were, of course, it's not attack my target. It's attack this target. So period key, if I need to go that route. Subtract key, if I'm, I'm going to try that one first. In fact, I'm going to whistle subtract now. All right. It should be on... How can I figure that out? This way. Uh, aggressive. Yep, sure is. Let's find the Quetzal. We have found our Quetzal. Yay, Quetzal. All right, I think, I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's the right side. The wiki says that. Right side near the neck. And see if it'll attack. It's right side. I hit. It hit. It sure did. On aggressive. And that's uh, too much damage. Okay. Mr. Stinger, you're too powerful. I'm going to switch to your wife. Let's, uh, let's find somewhere fairly safe. Top of the volcano is probably fairly safe. You did way too much damage, Mr. Stinger. I put too much into melee on you. Okay, Mrs. Stinger does a bit less damage. Let's see if that's going to be too much as well. Uh, I need to put you on aggressive, which is minus. All right, and confirm. You are on aggressive. All right. Now, where did that quest go? He's down here somewhere. The west side. It's over here somewhere. Ah, no. That's an RG. <laughs> there she is. Still pretty hurt. Let's see how much damage Mrs. Stinger does. Alright, Mrs. Stinger, how much damage did you do? Not that much. But how much torpor did you do? Um, not that much. Well, let's repeat this process and see what happens. Looks like this damage might actually work. You might get this one down before it dies. On second thought, probably won't. It's doing too much damage. Oh boy. I need to get another scorpion and not put anything into melee. I believe the easiest way to get another scorpion that I don't level up too much is just to breed my two, right? I'll put Mrs. Stinger there. Put her husband right here. There we go. Uh, you're probably close enough. Uh, behavior. Enable mating. Behavior. Enable mating. You're not close enough. Come on over here. There we go. Now you're close enough. 
Um, did they change pulmonal scorpius eggs? Look at that egg. Pick that up. Um, I think I should be able to put it in here and have it auto incubate. I think that's a feature I turn on, but that is a weird egg. I don't care what the level it is or what gender it is, so I'm just going to do the one egg. So we're going to go ahead and turn these guys off mating and uh, pick them back up for now. Actually, we're just going to put them back where they belong, which is in the egg chamber. And sure enough, the cryo terminal has gotten it down to its bare minimum to hatch. Go ahead and close that down. Run over here where we can hatch things really well because I'm sure this is going to need a lot of heat. Turn the fireplace back on. Doesn't need a lot. And throw this thing down. That is the weirdest looking egg, man. It is too hot. Interesting. A little less hot here. Too hot. Really? Yeah, there it is. A level 157. Wow, okay. Um, maybe Stinger. We'll let this thing mature up and then we'll uh, go give it another shot. Normally I would care to imprint it, but since it's coming out with a 920.5 melee to begin with, and that's a combination of, um, obviously it's a pretty high level, but on our server we have um, the defaults for tamed creatures to be slightly boosted. I think their melee is like two times by default on our server. Um, so that makes them pretty powerful. So I think it would normally have come out of like, you know, 450, 460 or something like that. Um, maybe. Uh, but yeah. I'm not going to put any points into that. I'm not going to imprint it because I don't want that to go higher. All right, sunrise is coming. We've got uh, the baby here, and I've been giving it things like uh, weight and stamina and health. Uh, actually, weight and stamina so far. I'm not touching the melee now. Like I said, that's pretty high melee, so we'll have to see what happens. But uh, yeah, can you move? You sure can. Let's go find another. Uh, hopefully, low level quets. I, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with a high level or or even a mid level at this point. But they're kind of hard to find, so we'll see what we can find. All right, we have found a level ten. Quets. Now, unfortunately, he's over the swamp or the forest, both bad places, but let's give it a shot. Baby's on, ag on aggressive. Baby hit. Um, nice, although not a lot of torpor, but uh, not as much torpor as damage, so that's not a good sign. There's another hit, I believe. Yep. Sure was. Okay. More torpor than damage. That's a good sign. Good sign. Might be able to get this one. I like to see that purple bar bigger than that red bar. Or, uh, yeah, bigger than the red bar. That's what I meant to say. He fell, he fell. Whistle the stinger neutral. Let's try this. Can I, can I get you? Come on. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. 
Come on. Come on. There it is. Is that enough? What does it say? It should be enough. All I need is a level 10. <laughs> I just need to start a platform so I can get a better one. Oh my goodness. Don't. I need to get on the bird. I need to get on Kevin here just in case. Oh, hello, Compy. Don't do anything stupid, Compy. Thank you. All right, Stinger. Baby, you need to... I can't shoot my gun from here, can I? Okay. Come on, buddy. Nothing to attack you. Thank goodness there's no phylos on these uh, trees. There are Trudons, though. Oh, no, that's not a Trudon. That was a Trudon. You look tiny for a Trudon. Come on, buddy. Came up. Hey, wait a minute. It didn't automatically put a tracker, did it? Oh, nice. I'm not even going to bother naming you. Stop following me. And nice. In the ball. Woohoo! We got one. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Next episode, we're going to build that uh, platform saddle and put a chain bola launching turret on there and go get a better quest. Catch you next time.